Good day everyone, I'm the Hat Hobbit and welcome back to Pine. It is episode 6 and I'm really excited to get back into this. Last episode we ex we finished exploring our sort of first vault and we got this weird sort of device here which you can see in the bottom right corner. I'm not really sure what we're going to use with it in the world but I imagine we'll find something pretty good. Also, as just a really quick announcement, we hit 30 subscribers! What on earth is this? Like, thank you so much. But here's to the next 10. Anyway, we, we, we better go back to um, Gary and Marla, because that is immediately where we're meant to be going. So, whereabouts are they again? I can't really remember. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. I mean, we can fast travel now, but I kind of just want to walk through, maybe collect some materials. And I'll sort of come back if I find anything interesting or when we get there. Oh, hello, Bleaker. It's been a while. Uh, how's it going? Ow, ow, ow. Let's just take out this Bleaker real quick. And what, I wonder what these stones are, because I don't really recognize them, but I imagine they'll be useful. So what are these? My stores. My pouch is full. Fantastic. What don't I need? I don't think I need tons upon tons of wood at the moment, so I'm just going to drop these. Because I have no idea what these spice spy stores are going to be for. I imagine something cool. Uh, he hello, Mr. Elk. I'm not here. Okay, maybe I am here. Uh, I don't want to attack you, because I imagine I'm going to need to be friends with you. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh, uh, leave me be, please. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go. See you, mate. I have a feeling we're gonna have a really bad time once we try and find another vault village. Because I imagine we need to go to a lot more vault villages just to find out what's going on. Uh, and I've got a really bad feeling that maybe, um, maybe attacking all of these peeps all at the same time maybe wasn't the best idea. No, I don't want to deal with these crocodiles either. Why does everyone hate me? Feels like everyone just wants to attack me. Maybe it's because I um I attacked them first. That that might have something to do with it. <laughs> Actually, over here, what are these things? Because I've seen a few of these around and they look like the things from the vault, if you remember. So maybe we can actually do these things now. Let's just jump over to this. Oh, interesting. So what's this? Ah. So this is going to be where we kind of find different... Recipes, I guess, to craft with? That's cool, that's cool. Let's just hop back. Uh, because we still need to go over there. And I... I am not really sure what we're going back to the end for. I mean, to be fair, they have helped us so far. I'm pretty sure they're the only people on this island who don't hate us. Ah, back where we started. It feels good to be back here in a weird sort of way. E even though they all said, don't go our way into the village. I feel like it's nice to be back. I mean, it must be weird, like, for, um, it, it must be weird for us to sort of just have nothing and just go around. So, hey, Gary. You, oh dear boy, you mustn't daunt us like that. We lost so many, then you were gone too. I went to the out to do what a man would have done, to learn and seek help. No, Hugh, it doesn't work like that. The out is dangerous. I bet you had to defend yourself plenty of times. Well, yes, but despite the continuing tremors on these cliffs, we are determined to make it work. And you should be too. We need your help more than ever to fortify our own houses and keep clearing up. I think we should get off the cliff. There are other options. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole point about tremors, tremors aren't good. Nonsense, stay here and help us out. Oh, for goodness sake. It has no use. The, the island is much bigger than this cliff and the humans um, before us knew it. Stop it. Help us out here. Start with VM. He has been asking for you ever since you left. I'll go see him. Well, I guess that's someone else we've got to go see. I'm not sure who EM is. Because it's been a while. Uh, it has been a little while. Phew. Oh, Mother's mercy. You were unscathed. I'm fine. The out is teaching me so much. The out is too dangerous for us, Hugh. No, it isn't. Some of it is. But there are some very kind people in the out who helped us. Yes, there was. There was. Are they going to help us? Well, they point me in the right direction. I think there must be a place we can live somewhere. We cannot live among those creatures. We will not survive, you. We have always been here, and life in the cliff will always find a way. But we haven't always been here. I told you, I'm how I found we're defenseless against those large creatures. You see them too on the cliff side, no? Yes, and now we're close. Some of them are not very happy with us, humans, but some are helpful. Yes, exactly! In fact, they're having to find a place called a vault, which I discovered humans have been here before. 
This is where I found the ant finding, which could help us defend ourselves better and learn the ways of humans before us. Yes, you! Explain it. That looks very interesting. It looks dangerous. What they right, what are they doing to you, Hugh? You seem different. I am. They're showing me there's more than this dangerous cliff. Hugh, you are a genius! Please, Hugh, start with this nonsense. Put away that dangerous subject and come help us here. There is so much for us to do. Oh, for goodness sake. I think it might be on something. Thank you, Nidia. Thank you. We can never see these different... Ridiculous options. We need to put our strengths into where it matters. Gary wants to see you too if you haven't already. I'm glad to back. I'm glad you are back to help us out. Yeah, well, we already spoke to them. So we better find Ian, whatever they're going to be um, talking to us about. I mean, it is nice to be back, but this place is way too dangerous for people. Anyway, I think Ian's down here. Ah, yeah, there he is. Hugh, Hugh you startled me. Oh, Ian, great. Gary told me to come and find you. Yes, I want to help you. I believe this close will much, last much longer. Thank you, Ian. You're an amazing person. <laughs> that, that, I believe so too. So I went to that cavern you mentioned to Mala and Gary, and one of the contraptions there inspired me. I'm surely not spray of you, but maybe you can use this elevator to shortcut into the out. Finally! And then maybe one day we can all follow you. I'm ardently beseeching Mother to keep you safe, Hugh. Thank you, Ian. This is fantastic. I wish I had your courage, kid. You are just like your brother. Aww. That's fantastic. So, we should just be able to hit this right and go all the way down. Oh, that's brilliant. That's actually really, really handy. Because I but I actually had to go through the entire cave that we went through at the beginning of the game to actually get back up to the, um, the top of the unstable cliffs. So, having sort of like that first... That sort of fast travel. That's just so good. Uh, some of them seem to I seem open to leaving the cliff. Nidia, Ian. But like, yeah, you, we've all got to do it together, in a sense. So I need to find another vault and see what humans did before us. And perhaps another outfinding will help us further. The Tambers will probably know how to get inside. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go visit the Tambers. The good old Tambers, them. Oh, I've never seen this place before. This looks like some sort of ruin. Maybe there's something here to do. It definitely looks like a target, so let's hit that. Uh, we're exhausted again, let me just eat up. This definitely looks like something, so maybe there'll be something cool at the end of it. I fell down at the last jump, it looks like. Maybe is this just is this just some some kind of obstacle course? Oh, this is a nice little find. I honestly have no idea what it would be useful, but maybe we'll find something better if we come back here later. For now, though, we might as well go back and visit our little um, friends of the Tambers. Ah, there they are. What? There, there are four of you? What? I, 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 I thought there were only two of you. Ah, oh, yes. I was betting it was going to take him at least a few good days to connect the dots. Welcome back, Hugh. I offer you to sit down. Off. Oh, I love you, mate. But there are no chairs left. Good of you to visit us. Now you are mingling with our mess. Politics, powerful chiefs have been knocking on our doors. Oh dear. They're not happy, Hugh. Not happy. The chiefs are reminded of a long time forgotten. And it wouldn't be too happy with you leaving the unstable cliffs. And yet, you are probably not here because you are having a jolly good time up there. Yeah. But as always, we'll have a way to help you. If you help us, of course. You're probably looking to get into another vault, no? I bet that newfound device of yours helps convincing the others simpletons up that cliff. Well, the cheapest of our mayor aren't that happy with you poking around to the vaults, so they want you on to lock them down more securely. And as neutral as we are, or appear to be, hehe, <laughs> they entrust us with holding the key to the vaults. Ha ha! Well, that's useful. Well, you're right. I need to get in the vault, but... So, we have what you need, but we need you too. I wanted to ask you about a strange image and insignia I found inside. Ah, uh, yes, as expected, a narrative is a line. That is exactly what we need each other for. Oh, interesting. So, what on earth are we going to talk about then? It looks like we got to sort of link all the nations or something. You see, your arrival has reminded us of our unfinished research on an event commonly known as the Blunder. One in which not only humans, but all tribes had a big role. That's the symbol I found. What does it mean? It is related to a great conflict in Albemare, one that we must decide that we decided to miss out on. 
Our home in the, scrog the soggy woodlands was in trouble, and everything got a bit too hot under our feet, which left a big gap in our giant collective, the Catalogue of Knowledge. The others do not speak much about it. Apparently it wasn't great a time to be around here. Perhaps you'll have more luck. We know that humans were involved, but we do not know how. The other species hold the, the answers. So you're telling me that I have to go to the villages to ask about what happened a long time ago, which I imagine they don't particularly want to talk about either. I can see this going very wrong. All of them have knowledge about the specific part of the blunder, and as we hope to string it together, with you acting as our missing link, the litters, for example, who have come from the field, they seem dirty and helpless, but there is more to them than meets the eye. Uh, those are the fox, right? The Fexels are famous hustlers, coming from the Wedgwoods. They will sense that you need valuable information, only to challenge you on anything that you, they know they are good at. The Crockers are the shama, sh shamanistic hunters of the woodlands. You will need to earn their respect if they are to share anything with you. The, ca the, car the Carablins are sage mountain folk. They always try to school everyone, but it often comes to a lot more brute force when it comes to it. The gobble Jew from the dunes won't even address us or you. We are not high class enough. Their vanity is the key to what they know. So, what you're telling me is that they all have different things that appeal to them. Okay, okay, I think we can deal with that. You might be the perfect figure to approach all of them. You're new, interesting, and you seem to get what you need. I, this seems like a lot. It is! You can tackle this in any way or do you like. Best of luck. Right, okay. So, you, it looks like we should probably be working on peace treaties and stuff then. Because that's look like we should sort of do. Because I, I want to make it so everyone is peaceful on this island. I don't know about other people. I just, I just like the idea of a big peaceful island. The Litters are simple folk, but phenomenal at organising. They say the Litters have hidden all their information and related to the Blunder away within an ancient king, deep inside the large cavern they originate from. You might have found its entrance already, but the secret to finding the information lies a bit deeper. Apparently, you need to be in a certain state for a resource called Drulica. We haven't found it yet, but there is a monument near the Litter Cave that should tell you how to get at the king's secret ways of getting it. For some reason, they left a great in trail of spy stole sockets near to it to find the monument. Bonkers, but that's how they are. We found some spy stole earlier. Follow out that trail and you'll get the information soon enough. Good luck. Okay, I think we should do this one first. I mean, we'll come back to do the other ones a little bit later, but I think we should go for this one first. That looks really interesting. So it looks like we got to sort of head southwest then. So we might as well head out, start to head over there. Because uh, I can't remember if we've been over here. It looks like we have though, so... Maybe this will be a quick journey, maybe it won't, but I'll, I'll come back when we get over there. Okay, so it looks like we're, we're quite close to where we kind of need to be to sort of start figuring out where we're coming from. And I believe this village here is actually, we're actually quite friendly, Rube. We are! Oh, that's excellent. Hello, my dear friend. I mean, you don't really know me too much, but at least I'm friends with your people. Ah, there's some spice doors, doggets. So, it's leading towards... Ah, okay, so it's up in this village then. Right, okay, so there's definitely going to be something interesting about this village. But what will it be? Uh, I'm trying to see where this trail leads. Oh, look, there's, there's more there. Okay, okay, there are a bunch of things. Oh, look, is that the recipe? Here lies the great King Drool from the first surface litter village. With one last breath, he followed the trail to the great field oak, swallowed the spice tool, and spit it in the highest point of the trunk. Nobody to this day was able to match this spit. The one to do so will be a welder of important knowledge for the litters. I could try to shoot it. Ooh, that's a good thought. Uh, I'm just going to sneak out this village because I know these guys aren't friendly towards me, so uh, we should be fine. Just, there we go. But yeah, as I was saying, we should probably find the largest oak in the field. Where said oak will be, I think it's somewhat over this area, but we better look for it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that oak tree there is the biggest oak in the field. I mean, it's miles bigger than anyone else there. So, it looks like we can possibly go over to it like this. 
So it was find the tree and then shoot it. Oh, ah, there we are. Right, let's just hop back a little bit so we can actually aim at the tree. And there we go. Right, let's just uh, grab this, shall we? A scroll. It seems to describe how tribes can preserve the resources and potentially obtain Drillica. Yes, the secret plan. Right, okay. We should go back to that chief then that we just found. Because if that's the solution to this, then that's going to be very helpful for the chief. Hello, chief. Uh, I think it's probably time I showed you this because this is quite interesting. The human. Hello, I'm Hugh, and I come to bring you King Drill's plan. King Drill, how dare you speak of our mighty leader in this way? What? <laughs> I found a way to extract from King Drill's legendary high spy stool. Hmm, and what did that bring you? It seems to contain knowledge to preserve more resources more efficiently, which could bring back Drillica? Drillica, you must be joking. Nobody has seen that stuff for ages. But before we continue, what's in it for you? Well, I just want to know everything there is about the blunder. Yeah, I, I do, actually. But why would you want to know that? For research, it seems your almighty has information I can use. That might be true. If you trade us King Drill's plan, I will help you get there. Why not? Oh, happily. Right, so... Uh, I suppose the way to do that would be to put it in the donation box, right? I hope that's the way to do it. Otherwise, I might be able to... I might be about to make a big mistake. Um... Although it looks like the quest objective is just over here, so maybe... Okay, it, may... it is literally just trading it. That's fine with me. So, let's just see what we can do. So, where is that plan? Is that the plan? No, that's not the plan, is it? Uh... Or, may... or maybe it's just... Do I just talk to this dude? Okay, so... Oh! Oh, you can buy... Oh, I didn't know you could buy stuff like this from them. Well, that's interesting. So, how, how do I trade this with him? Uh, that should be the question I should be asking myself. Maybe it's the, fission, the efficiency plan? I mean, it might be, so... Uh, no, it definitely wasn't the efficiency plan. Um, I have a feeling I messed up somewhere. I'm going to save you 10 minutes of me walking around being completely stupid and not realising that I basically just needed to craft the actual thing. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh my goodness. I'm such an idiot. Th this whole time I had to craft it. Right, okay, so we need three Agarra tokens and one Trader token. I think that's doable. Uh, but it does mean we're going to be needing to do a few more trapping. Luckily we have a few more traps. Um, so, uh... Uh, don't don't tell these villagers, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna spook them and steal their stuff. Actually, now that I think about it, that might be a bad idea. Perhaps I'll go find a different set of villagers to uh, maybe uh, persuade them to give us our tokens. Let's just put it that way. All right, so let's make up this knowledge, and then we should just be able to, to just give this to the guys over here, right? Because that should be enough to just persuade these fellows to give us this information even though we did just rob a bunch of them but don't tell them that okay so it looks like we can collect some drillica from the boxes near the houses okay well let's see what if the elder has anything to say or the chief hey a chief how's it going you are wasting my time and your own for that matter i'll need a little bit more time okay so it looks like we need to uh sort of find that Drudica then. So I imagine it'll be around here somewhere. Ah, there we go, there's some Drudica. Okay, well, we've got three of the full that we need, so maybe we just need to uh, just smash a few more boxes and we should just find some more. There we go. Oh, that works excellently, right. I suppose now we should go up to the chief and basically show him Drudica's now a thing again. You did it, a miracle straight from the almighty. Let's have a taste. This is truly... Mm. Alright, a deal's a deal. Here's what you need to do to get the source of the knowledge of power. You need to place some Drillica on the pedestals at our shrine, then fast, become exhausted, and we'll see if the Almighty grants you access to our paths. 
Inside the ancient cave, find the throne and the Almighty's note knowledge will present itself. I will try. Yes, I certainly will. So... It definitely looks like we're gonna be going somewhere different. So, it, oh, is it is it just here? Oh, it's just here. Oh, that's useful. Um, how much do we have? All right, so we're currently quite energy full. So, um, I'm just gonna sprint around for a bit, and then I'll come back and we'll do this thing. Cause I'm pretty sure we need to be um, we need to be very very exhausted. Okay, so now we're exhausted. We just put this here. And this here, this here, and finally this one here. Time to fast. Yes, uh, I've fasted. Oh, interesting. So it definitely looks like something is going to happen here. Well, I mean, we've just literally just completely passed out. Okay, so a pathway has definitely revealed itself. We might as well follow these then. I wonder where they'll lead. It looks like they go up, which is certainly something interesting. Oh wait, no, they go in. Oh, okay. So what are we gonna find in here, I wonder? Definitely something. Looks like we should be able to get across here somehow. Though, oh, sharp arrows. I will definitely pick up some arrows. Uh, but maybe we will just use our slingshot for this. Let's just wander across over here. And I honestly don't know what we'll find. Because I'm hoping it'll be something interesting at least to help us. To know what exactly did happen because I honestly have no idea. Whoa, this definitely looks like something something big. There's a lot of bleakers around too. But it looks like that's where we kind of got to go up there. So I'm going to look around and see if we can find something. Let's take out these bleakers. Ow. Oh, we are very exhausted. I forgot about that. Uh, let's just uh, let's just eat some food. Um, Stun these guys down a bit. Dealing with these guys is not that fun, I'm going to be honest. Ow. Oh, we're very low on health. Run. Run away. Literally just run. Run. Uh, maybe we'll just... Uh... The slingshot. It does nothing. Ow. Oh, no. We're dead. Ah. Oh. Oh no. Alright, well unfortunately that about does it for this episode of Pine. I've unfortunately run out of time. Uh, so I'd like to thank you all ever so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like and maybe even leave a comment down below. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel. I mean, you get to see more of me and everything that I do. But anyway, apart from that, all I have left to say is see ya, take care, and bye bye